Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. Hey y'all, so let's make a really cute Dollar Tree uh, wall sconce out of leather. So I'm using one of these Dollar Tree shelves. Um, you can also use just whatever you have. A piece of wood of any kind will do. Uh, this is about six inches by, or maybe like five inches by about um, 12 or 13 inches, something like that. And all I'm doing is staining it with some burnt umber and a baby wipe. And you can see I'm not staining the whole thing because the bottom is going to be covered. Um, so just stain it up with whatever color stain you like. And then I'm going to seal it with a coat of Mod Podge just to give it a little bit of sheen and make it look a little bit more finished. You could also use a polyurethane, um, or whatever you have will do. Now I am using two different kinds of leather. Um, I have found several different items at Dollar Tree. Um, this little bag I'm going to be using um, that also comes in, I believe, a beige or kind of like a tan color um, and I think black. Uh, so what I'm doing is just cutting this apart um, so that I can just have a nice flat piece. Um, to use. And then I have another piece here of leather that I'm going to be using. This is just a sample that I had laying around. Um, and I like the contrast of the two together. So that's what I chose to use. But um, you can also find the faux leather pieces at Dollar Tree um, in the where the in the craft section where the vinyl is you can find it like that sometimes too so i'm crossing these together i've just basically created some nice straight lines for myself and i'm crossing them up and then i'm going to tape them down onto my wood um, now that i've done that i'm going to just trace around that wood so i know where to cut and then I'm just going to use a sharp knife and my metal ruler from Dollar Tree and remove the excess so that it'll fit nice on my board. So you can see now it fits on there. I've got both of my pieces um, and I chose to make sure that they were both the full size. So instead of just having like a little piece of that um, brown color, I um, kept it the full size. And you can see here, I forgot to stain all the edges, so I just did that. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is just lay things down, tape them into place, get things um, the way that I want them. And now we're going to start adhering them to the surface. So I'm just coming in with a little bit of hot glue at the corners. And then I'm going to take some thumbtacks. These are Dollar Tree thumbtacks. And we're just going to use those to push right into those top corners um, to just add a little bit of decoration, a little bit of something extra. You could use furniture tacks. Uh, doll, uh, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby has lots of different options as well. So then we're just going to hot glue all the way down the edges. Do the bottom layer first and then come over top with your top layer um, so that you make sure everything's glued down. And after I glue all the edges down, we're just going to go back with two more thumbtacks that we're going to put on the bottom two corners. Y'all, this is one super simple craft, but it is so cool and just looks so awesome. You could do any color combination you want to, or you could just do all the same color as well. That would be gorgeous as well. Now I've got this little succulent from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to throw in there. Now I also decided to add another little tack right there at the top of that um, pink piece. I felt like it just kind of needed it. Um, it felt a little empty right there. Um, and now I'm just playing around with some hangers and things that I might use. Uh, this is the ribbon that actually came with the shelf uh, or the rope that came with the shelf. And I don't think I like that. So we're going to go in with a little bit of jute. I'm using a thicker piece of jute here and I'm just going to tie knots. I want those knots exposed. Instead of those knots being on the back side, I'm actually going to put them on the front side. I think that's going to look a little bit better um, and just go with the whole vibe that we're going with here. Um, 
And then that's all there is to it. You've got an adorable finished little wall sconce with leather. You could put anything you want to in here. Any sort of flowers um, would be gorgeous. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.